With each new version, we extend our seismic capabilities to support more scenarios and provide more productivity. Protostructure 2024 is no exception to this. In Protostructure 2024, we reviewed the Eurocode 8 behavior factor and how they are handled in analysis. In the previous versions of Protostructure, it was only possible to use a single behavior factor for two perpendicular directions. With Protostructure 2024, you can now assign different behavior factors to different orthogonal directions. For seismic design, usually it is necessary to designate some of the members as not part of the lateral load resisting system. This has a wide usage in seismic design practice and was asked frequently by our users. With Protostructure 2024, you can now designate column and beam members as vertical only on their property windows. In this case, they are designed under designated vertical combinations, excluding other seismic or lateral combinations. Protostructure will automatically mark vertical combinations for vertical-only design. You can include or exclude any existing combinations in this category. Also, thanks to the powerful analysis infrastructure of Protostructure, vertical-only members are assigned a reduced bending stiffness in seismic combinations, while a full inertia is considered in vertical-only combinations. This is simultaneously done in the same analysis run. Although these members are designed only for vertical-only combinations, we still perform a ductile detailing for these members as a precaution. Protostructure automatically detects the modes of vibration by a 3D eigenvalue analysis. For equivalent static analysis, the dominant modes in each direction is automatically detected and used. However, seismic codes do not allow us to directly use these calculated values. They are always limited by empirical formulas depending on structural height and system. Protostructure also calculates and imposes those limitations and conducts the equivalent static analysis accordingly. With Protostructure 2024, you can now completely bypass eigenvalue analysis results and impose your own period values to be used in equivalent static analysis. No limitations will be applied as an upper bound to these values. This is especially necessary if you are using a variation of a seismic code with different upper limits.